it was a long, uh, kind of a long-term dream. It took us about 10 years actually to find the land. You know, so we had been looking before I deployed and that we bred, you know, their calves now are having their own calves. So it's, you know, it's something where you can now see multiple generations of, of cattle. You know, it's very fulfilling. Just worrying until we're able to drive out to the ranch. Um, you know, one of the things is obviously as a, it rains, those roads sometimes become uh, inadequate. You know, there's a lot of rain that comes down, so we couldn't even really get out there. Uh, versus being able to, to do it at home, you know, look on the iPad every night and say, being able to check on the cattle and see if they have calves with them. If I notice that, you know, somebody is, you know, driving by at odd hours by the ranch and slowing down as they go by. Quality of the build of the cameras and, uh, and the fact that they're reliable is really important to us. It's nice to know that uh, the cameras can withstand uh, anything that Texas throws at them. When I redeployed, it was more important to me than it had been before just because of, you know, having a place to kind of decompress and, and uh, you know, to, to be with the animals out in nature, uh, that was something that was very important to me and help, to help me, you know, in, in uh, kind of reestablishing my normal, you know, life.